Just over 2,000 votes now separate the candidates in the Democratic primary for Cook County State's Attorney Clayton Harris III. Seeing a big boost in the latest mail-in count. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jackie Bang. And I'm Timon Bradley. The gap is closing in that local race. The BGN's Brona Tomoti is live at the Chicago Board of Elections. Brona, this one is tight. It certainly is, guys. Good evening. It is neck and neck, as you mentioned there. Eileen O'Neill Burke is ahead at the moment, but it is only about 2,000 votes separating the candidates. It's been a while, I think, since we've had a countywide race that's been this close. Thousands of ballots being counted today at the Chicago Board of Elections. The gap even narrower now between Eileen O'Neill Burke and Clayton Harris III. The pair are vying to be the next Cook County State's attorney, but it's a razor tight race. Between uh, the city and the uh, city's numbers, uh, uh, she still leads the race. This is a situation now where it looks like it's uh, close to about uh, over 2,000 votes uh, between them. Public Information Officer Max Bever speaking with us tonight, telling us there are plenty of eyes in the process. Also reiterating his apology over initially miscounting the number of vote-by-mail ballots received before Election Day, omitting about 9,100 from the tally. Really what happened was you're looking at a human error and he's standing in front of you. Uh, he did not add two and two together in the rush. We're back on track now, but we don't yet know who'll come out on top because more votes will trickle in as long as they're postmarked by election day. We do have to count every vote and per Illinois election law we have that two week period. So for right now it's a situation of hurry up and wait and keep counting. There will be additional updates uh, from the board, from vote-by-mail ballots that are added uh, to the unofficial count, as well as from the uh, uh, clerk's office at the county. So we do tell voters have patience. Now we're told about 2,500 vote-by-mail ballots will be counted here at the Board of Elections tomorrow. The count will also continue, of course, in the suburbs. And then more ballots will, of course, trickle in before that April 2nd deadline. We're at about 96% counted now, and it is still very much too close to call. We'll have the Board of Elections, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.